happy 4th of July and happy Independence Day is what I really should say. Anyway, I want to say, uh, when, when you guys blow off fireworks, firecrackers and stuff like that, read the directions. It says could cause injury or, but worse than that, could cause six feet under if you're not careful. But anyway, uh, yeah, read the directions and if you like those big old firecrackers and big ones, light that sound bitch and run. That's what you're supposed to do. Run, run, run. Don't sit there and stand next to the damn thing and be a hero. Or an idiot, I should say. Don't be an idiot. Well, here's how you find the good good fireworks in your neighborhood. We used to have a thing called a block party. That's a crime watch or neighbors get out night. Yes, the block parties. It's kind of fun anyway, because you get to meet all your neighbors and shit, you know? Especially the ones that are the, You get to meet the assholes, the ones that you never saw before. You finally get to see who they are. But anyway, what I do is I walk around saying hi to everybody, kind of shaking hands, greeting people. And I tell you, and this is another way you can always find out who has the best fireworks for the 4th of July. Look for the dumb son of a bitch that's missing a thumb. Look for that guy that's missing that thumb. You know he's going to have the best shit in the neighborhood because he lost that thumb from the big-ass firecrackers. Yep, that's where you want to go and check it out. You know he's having a good shit in his place. Anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. Peace and blues bad time.